Bride were looking to bounce back after their disappointing home defeat to Edinburgh City. The visitors to Kay Park were Stirling University, who beat EK 2-1 on the opening day of the season. Sterling Uni started the game off positively. Sludden's lovely chip pass was met by McWhirter. Goalkeeper Meldrum, though, was equal to it. Meldrum again was called into action, this time a save from Sludden's shot from distance. Another chance for Sterling came and went, the flick on from the corner finding its way to Sludden. His effort, though, put over the crossbar. East Kilbride then looked to open the scoring. Trainer shot from distance, dragged wide of the goal. The referee then took a small tumble in the middle of the park. Thankfully he wasn't injured, although perhaps slightly embarrassed. The home side came close to taking the lead, Haddon's free kick only inches away. Sterling Uni then pushed forward looking for the opener, and they thought they had it. Sludden's flick on for Nixon saw him collide with Meldrum before Donoghue Kelly tapped the ball home. However, the referee had pulled play back for a free kick and decided that Nixon's challenge on the EK goalkeeper was enough to see red. Stirling University was now down to 10 men. The home side then went looking to make the man advantage count. Dawes' free kick, though, well over. An eventful first half at Cape Park came to an end, with the score still poised at 0-0. With the second half underway, the home side would be looking to make that extra man count. It was, however, the away side who took the lead early on. Good work from Miller, so him lay the ball off for Donahue Kelly, who side-footed the ball into the net to make it 1-0 to Sterling Uni. Sterling nearly doubled their lead shortly after, an ambitious shot from Sludden, forcing an impressive save from Meldrum. Kilby were still looking to get back into the game. Dawes' effort just skimming the top of the crossbar. Despite having 10 men, Sterling were still looking dangerous. They had a penalty claim turned down when striker Ryan Miller went down in the box. EK's chances had been few and far between. Some nice play though setting up Daw. His shot, however, was mishit. Sterling University then went on to double their lead. Good play by Miller saw him through on goal. His shot deflected off Murdoch before hitting the post and into the net. Much to the players' delight. East Kilbride were still pushing on despite time running out. Daw winning a free kick in a dangerous area. Captain Templeton's left foot delivery met by the head of Scott Woods. The header buried into the corner of the net. EK then went looking to snatch an equaliser, but time was running out. Templeton's ball just missed by Wilson. Stirling University held on for the win, however, with a final score 2-1 to the away side. After the match, we spoke to striker Kevin Wilson, but first to EK coach Craig Young to find his overall thoughts of the game. I thought today, for the first time this season, we were absolutely disgraceful. Um, I like apologise first and foremost to that came in and paid to watch that today because that simply wasn't good enough from uh, any team that I've been involved in coaching wise that we were hesitant um, we gave the ball away every time we had the ball we, there was two passes on we picked the wrong one we weren't competitive enough and Sterling absolutely merited their victory today um, towards the end they are down to 10 men for 50 minutes and we are pushing guys on and I didn't even think we were going to score then so um, poor all round display How disappointed were you to lose the goal so early on in the second half? Well it's something that the players are going to have to learn very very quickly and they'll hear about it this week, starting on Monday at training. Um, we go out there with a set of instructions to players and uh, some of them take it upon themselves to go and do what they want to do. Well, unfortunately, that's not the way it works. Uh, they have to take instruction from us, the coaches, and trust what we're telling them is correct. Uh, we switched off, we gave the ball away, 
and Sterling punished us. And they could have punished us on two or three occasions in the second half because they were, they were a better, sharper side throughout the game. What were your overall thoughts in that game? I thought that's the worst we've been all season. We've had a, a bit of a chat in the change room there. Um, it was a bit of a goal, deservedly so, but it's not good enough. Um, it's going to be a tough night Monday night, deservedly so, and uh, we just need to get back in Tuesday, Thursday, get the ball out and try and improve for next week. How disappointed were you as a team to concede that goal so early on in the second half? We've come out, we, we discussed coming out and playing the game. No change, they were down to 10 men, we just play our own game, and we just didn't do that, straight for the off. And they've, they're a good side, they have punished us and could have probably took a couple of offers throughout the second half.